All right, week eight. Um, I've made a video in a couple weeks. I figured I'd jump back in, um, make a video this week. Hopefully, others do the same. It's been it's been pretty quiet in the league the last uh, last couple weeks. Can't really say too much about it because I've been quiet as well. Um, but it's this league always thrives and there's a bunch of activity. I'm sure Ray loves putting out the all plays and the and the rundowns and doing all the work and taking all the time to do it. Um, to have the league be absolutely silent. Even the boards are being pretty quiet. Um, so hopefully this week we pick it back up. Uh, got my matchup with the River this week. Um, before I go into that, sitting at sitting at two and five. Um, faced a couple of, of heavy hitters early on. Had Ray put up 196. Ricky put up 220. Chris put up 207. Ben put up 212. Tough couple weeks. Um, then I faced Pater in week five. Fucking can't believe I lost to him. 167, 164. Um, he plays great defense. I, know, I thought I had a good game plan going in, but I just didn't. Not going to win putting up 164. Um, then I had Brian beat Brian. Uh, just destroyed Jen, which was nice. Um, she won three in a row, which was impressive. Um, but I was happy to end that. Got a little two-game streak myself right now. Feels pretty good. Sucks being over. It sucked being over. Um, I mean, it's tough jumping on videos and you know, saying you're going to win or you're going to do this, you're going to do that when you're just getting slaughtered week in and week out. But I digress. I'm happy with where my team's at. Um... Going up against River, I actually like River's team a lot. I was, um, I think he has a lot of good young pieces. I mean, Herbert, Ridley, Metcalf, Henry, he's got Hawkinson who I love. He's got C.D. Lamb. Um, he's he's got a good team, so I think he's gonna be a contender in the Norris for a while. Um, hopefully, I can take him out this week. Keep riding this little win streak we got going on here. I don't care if it's two games. I'm gonna be happy about it. I'm happy to fucking get some wins finally. Um, this is a big week though. Um, it's uh, two and six is is impossible. Even three and five is really tough. Um, where I'm looking at this year, realistically, like, uh, even if I make the playoffs, which is such a long shot, um, we got some heavy, heavy, heavy hitters up top. So it would be really tough to even make a, a realistic run. So. I mean, if I could somehow come away with like a seventh or an eighth seed, get myself a nice little buy for the consolation bracket, and get myself a nice high pick next year, maybe even the first overall pick, um, I think that'll go a long way for, for where this team's headed. I think I think we're realistically a year out um, from, from really contending. Um, I think we can... Do something similar to what we did in, in 2017. Uh, in 2016, we won the consolation, got the number one overall pick, took Leonard Fournette over McCaffrey, which was pretty fucking stupid, but it helped me that year. Um, and we won. So hopefully we could do something similar. Um, you know, it sucks not gunning for a championship, but just the way the team is set up right now, it just doesn't seem like that's in the cards. Um, especially when I have... Ricky, Ray, and, and Chris are waiting for me at the end of the season. Um, gotta be realistic here, but you know, if 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 we're gonna miss the playoffs, we gotta we gotta gun for a, a seven and eight seed, get myself that buy and, and give myself a good shot at the championship. Um yeah. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted by this little dog. Um so good luck this week, River. Um I really do like his team. Wow. Good for him. He's done good work. Um We'll, uh, yeah, we'll end it here. Good luck.